in Nirvana, solitude is society. There are many people, but only one solitude. First, you find yourself alone. Then, you find yourself. In solitude, the murky waters of thinking clear themselves, revealing the bottomless well of presence. There is a real, authentic solitude, the naked longing and freedom of a humble and triumphant soul. You are but a joyful, silent servant in the largest community of life, eternally held in the arms of cosmic intimacy. Loneliness might be struggle or ascetism, the taste of dry bread, but in solitude, your soul's only pleasure is surrender, emptiness and death. Zooming out, the crowded atoms of daily existence make up the solitude of stars, the solitude of space. Solitude is a time of no time. It is being while not being. True solitude is the subtle kiss of grace. It is the effervescence of emotions and their recognition in waveless infinity. Solitude is Hamsa, the majestic swan of awareness, gliding on her own reflection. In solitude, you hear the hidden echo resounding ever more clearly. The heart is the beloved that never betrays you. How long will you betray such a lover?